Hey, good afternoon, everyone. And today, as the title will suggest and imply, all that good stuff, whatever, Harry, I'm sorting Seuss from Gravity Falls into a Hogwarts house. And I think this is a pretty obvious choice. Slytherin. Nah, I'm just missing. Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's obvious. I just, just had to, you know, make the joke. Yeah, you know, I know he's very hardworking, very loyal. He really likes food. I mean, not like other houses can't. It's just, we're, we're probably more prone to it. And honestly, that's kind of all I got. Oh, and just props to Seuss for managing to get himself a date with a girl by just being himself. Yeah, for the scene in Gravity Falls when Mabel's talking about how good she is at matchmaking. And she used Seuss and Melody as an example of her matchmaking prowess. No, Mabel, you do not get to use them as an example. You helped Seuss with the date, but he got that date all on his own. He didn't need any of your help with getting the date. So that's just that. You do not get to take credit for that. That's, I had to get that out of my system. It's something that really annoys me. And that actually might be uh, point for her being in Slytherin. I mean, she's Hufflepuff, but she's a little bit of a slithery Hufflepuff. Just, just a bit. Like, uh, if she had a kid, her kid could be a Slytherin. Or she could end up dating a Slytherin. So, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, that's really all I got for this video. So, um... If there's a character you'd want me to do you know, more than any of them, please leave a comment. So until next time, super. Take care now. Bye-bye then.